Alright everybody, here's a cool one. It's the JXD 509W Wi-Fi. It comes with a controller. You can use your phone with an app to control it. It has a camera. 720p, 6-axis gyros, headless mode. 2.4 gig radio. There you see you can use I suppose you could probably use an iPad, you can use anything. Your phone. It's got air pressure sensor, so that means it's got the uh, altitude hold. Pioneer, altitude hold apps, takes video pictures, 2.4 radio, headless mode, does flips and rolls, has a button on it for a light. There you can see the codes for Apple, Google, Android. Yeah. Let's see what's in there, huh? Here's all the manuals, instructions how to do the Wi-Fi deal, more QR codes, kind of how to go through it all and make it work. The manual, parts breakdowns, the usual, how to fly it, how to go up and down, start, stop. Yeah. There's the quad. How cool is that? Look at that, huh? Here's the camera. Got adjustable height on it. You can see where it plugs in. It's got an on-off switch. Here's where the battery goes. Got a 1S. I'm trying to remember the size of the battery. It's got normal plugs on it, I see. Here's the battery. You can see that. 600 milliamp, 3.7 volt. So your normal plug, you can charge it with anything. Although it does come with a charger. JD509 it says there. Really cool looking, isn't it? Pretty stiff. The gear should take some abuse. It seems to be nice and bouncy. There's supposed to be lights in it somewhere, I'm not sure where. We'll find that out. I'll put that there. What else we got here? Here is spare propellers, two screwdrivers, a bunch of screws. Here's the charger, USB charger. Oh, there's the other half of that. Probably clamps onto the transmitter to hold the phone. Also has these little prop guards go on the ends. If you're a beginner you can put those on. That's probably what a bunch of the little, looks like there's more little screws, so it must be those and the little screwdriver. Cool. Here's the transmitter. Okay, so both of them in, probably to calibrate the gyros. Emergency stop, you pull them both out. So calibrate if it doesn't fly well. That's emergency stop. Here's to start and stop the motors as well. So if you start them have a problem, you can kill it fast that way. Speed is your rates. There's probably three rates there usually is on these types of deals. Turn would be your flip button. So flip. Flip that way, you got your trims. Headless mode is where no matter what way this is pointing, if it's pointing like that and you push this, it will go away from you. So, and vice versa. I don't, I'm, I'm too used to flying otherwise. Um, I can see if you get in trouble, you could probably use that to come back. Photo and video, those are for the G model, not the W model. Um, the other one, 
I believe it's the G model, has the 5.8 gigahertz FPV system. So you can take photo, photo and video from that. On ours, we'll be doing it through the phone. Um, start, stop, you got lights. You can turn lights off and on, I'm guessing. And then one key return. So it's supposed to come back with one key. You can see the throttle has spring loaded. So once you start and stop it, you give it some throttle to take off and let go and it should hold that altitude or to come down hold that altitude so yeah four double A's go in there cool um, we'll get this camera mount you can see fits on like this we'll get the other piece on there and get it mounted up and we'll be back alright there we've got our foam mount, foam mount mounted to the I guess if you fly like this, mount it to the transmitter. You can see here I just took the two screws. I have my phone in an R box. So it's larger than normal and it fits in there no problem. So that'll be great. Alright, so I've got the battery in and plugged in. Nothing is on yet. So for me, I'll take this off. For me, it's always transmitters on first, off last. So we'll turn that on. We'll turn the quadcopter on, all the little lights. You see the lights are flashing on the quad. Then to bind it up, you up and down. You can see the lights went solid on the quadcopter. So it's the light button. Oh, cool. So when you push the light button, it turns them off and on. If you hold it. I don't know why you wouldn't want the lights, but I suppose if you're going stealth. Um, let's see the start stop button. Well, it doesn't stop it, so that way it stops it. Apparently there's no Apparently that's the only way to stop it. Okay, here I downloaded the app. Got it bound up. And you can see here, latency's not bad. Really close there, so we'll see what it's like once you get outside and flying around, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Awesome. So I've got her bound up. There you can see I can turn the lights off and on. Let's try a little test top here. It's a small building, but or small room, sorry, but it should still fly. Nice and stable. Feels good. Good sponsor. I think it's going to fly great. You get outside and try it. sure what the easy way to take off and land is because you got to push those buttons you know down into the bottom corners with the remote so try it again and hold it down hold it down oh, okay so if you just keep holding down it looks like it'll shut off on its own as well here we go again
Okay, so if you do hold full down stick, it will work. So there you go, guys. We'll give it a test flight outside. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, it's bound up, ready to go. You can see the app here. This would be picture. This other one here would be video. So it should be recording, so... Or, sorry, I guess you couldn't see that video's up here. So anyways, let's see what happens. Altitude hold is doing really well. Let me get this out here so you can maybe see. A little bit of wind is doing great. We'll try the flip button. Flip forward. Nice. Bring it back here. Flip sideways. Oh, close one. You made her though. Don't oh, let me bring it down here for you guys. There it is. One key return now. It's deep and see what it does. Well, you can see I am not touching anything here. This is one key return. Oh, where are you going, Quad? Oh, man, it was going to run into the trees. I stopped it. Can't be having run into trees. Will it flip back? It will flip back. Nice, nice. So one key return, it just kind of comes back this direction. It did fairly well. So one key return, it just kind of comes back this direction. It did fairly well. Let's bring it over here and see if it'll come back this way. One key return, now. So it just goes, and I bailed out of it. Let's bring it, point it sideways. One key return, now. That's pretty cool. It does keep coming back this way, though. I'm not sure where it's going, though. Flip sideways. There she goes. I'm going to try a different rate. Try a third rate. Yeah, there we go. Now she's ripping. Trying to lose altitude is a little bit slow. Um, I'm assuming it's probably somewhat to do because of the wind. So let's try the headless mode. Headless mode freaks me out, but let's try it. Headless mode. Can you guys see that camera here? Oh, battery died. Oop, wrong way. All right, well, there we go. Just a little flight recap for you guys. Um, it's a little windy out here. I don't know what it is. Few, three, four miles an hour maybe. Um, it handled great. It was very solid. The altitude hold held. The uh, I didn't get a chance to hit the headless mode yet. We'll do that on the next flight. Um, you can see this is pretty durable. Kind of a hopefully the other camera catches it had kind of a soft landing. So. I wouldn't expect anything to fail there. Um, the Wi-Fi, I'm not sure why it lagged out a bunch of times up there. Um, I don't know, it shouldn't have been a distance thing, it wasn't that far away, but we'll test that a little bit more later. But it was stable, flips and rolls are solid. High rate is manageable, it zips around very well in high rate. Um, a lot of fun. Uh, you could easily learn on this. It's very stable out in this wind. I imagine with no wind, it'd probably be perfect. Um, Gear best, Coley. Did great. Great machine. Yeah. Stay tuned for more. We'll come back with another flight. And uh, 
see we can try out that headless mode and a couple other things but there you go I'm pretty happy with that very fun like comment subscribe